What programs or policies would you put in place to provide support for the people in Cheyenne who are homeless or are low or middle income to ensure that they can have their basic needs met and can withstand future crises like we've experienced recently? See, I think the proper role of government is three pillars. It's health and safety, it's sanitation, and it's infrastructure. Um, and I think those are the things that we need to keep in place. Um, we do some help with the Comia Shelter. We do some help with the Senior Center. And I think we need to try to continue those types of things and those types of programs. But we need to bring jobs to Cheyenne uh, to employ those people that are homeless. Um, but I don't know that um, I have any specific plans to put something together specifically for just the homeless um, other than what's already in place and encourage the churches uh, to do what they do best, take care of the community. I believe that's kind of their role. I think that's a challenging question and I would, I would tell you that in a lot of these areas I don't know that that is really a city's responsibility. Um, How do you say this? Um, I, I think we need to work with our state federal partners to make sure that that the resources that they have available are here. Uh, I think we need to work with the nonprofits to make sure that we're not duplicating services and to put like a board of boards together of the nonprofits so that we all know what everybody's doing so that people know where they can go or they can be referred. Um, but you know, we have a $50 million budget. We could spend every penny of that on these issues and I don't think we would solve them. Um, I, I think that uh, a lot of those kinds of issues are maybe outside of the city's responsibility. However, I, I think there's a lot of things that we can do. We can work towards trying to make sure that we make the process for building housing uh, easier and less expensive so that we can have more housing and more affordable housing. Um, I think we can look at all our rules and regulations and see if there's impediments that we have systemically that we could overcome to try to help with that. But as far as like providing mental health counseling, um, those types of things, uh, I'm just not sure that that's the city's responsibility. But I think we need to be using our bully pulpit as a city to try to come up with as many of the, uh, the resources that are out there and make sure that people know where they're at.